magic's greatest illusions. Until that time, magicians were these tall, older guys with black mustaches, top hats that would pull rabbits out of hats. And uh, here was this hippy dippy little guy in this psychedelic costume. Hey, how you doing? My name's Doug Henning. Hey, and he started doing these amazing illusions you'd never seen before. And I think at that time, Doug Henning really brought a nice sense of fun back into magic. It wasn't stodgy anymore. Doug Henning and his TV specials did something very interesting. He always included a lot of close-up magic. Thank you, folks. More seashells in one corner. He always took the time to sit down on the edge of the stage and do something right here with the camera nice and close. This time, folks, Kirk, watch here. One seashell in my hand and three in my pocket. And to me, those were the most magical parts of the show. One seashell. Well, look at this. It's George, the turtle. And that was a good use of television and magic because it was so intimate. I think comedy and magic go together because what works best for comedy also works best for magic, personality. With a comedian, the jokes are always secondary to the person who's performing. <laughs> comedy and magic also both share uh, a need for perfect timing. <laughs> the comedy is all about time. You can have the best joke in the world, but if you don't bada bing, hit, hit it right when you're supposed to hit it, it's not going to work. Same thing in magic. <laughs> the legendary Harry Houdini. an effect in which he swallowed needles, swallowed thread, then coughed them up, the needles neatly threaded on the thread, and uh, it became indelibly associated with him. Today, illusionist Charlie Mount has threaded together a light-hearted needle-swallowing routine that pays tribute to the great magician. <laughs> Well, I read Houdini's biography when I was a kid, and I wanted to try magic, and, um, you know, I, I just said to myself, I'm not going to be jumping into rivers shackled. What else can I do that Houdini used to do? And then I read The Needle Swallowing, and I thought, well, I'll try that, you know, I can swallow. The needle swallowing that I do is a little different than Houdini's. I'm more of a comedian than Houdini was. Houdini was not a comedian by any stretch of the imagination. It took me two years of trying, of hurting myself with the needles, of being very nervous every time I did it because it never worked. So it was lots of trial and error, and lots of pain, and lots of antiseptic. People like seeing people in danger on stage. It's a controlled scary, but it's a little scary because they're looking for that one second, that one moment where suddenly they forget that it's on stage and they forget that it's a show and they have, the, oh, okay, it's just a show. Whether the danger is real or merely an illusion. Behind magic's greatest illusions.